Hey, have you been told that you don't know Jack? Well, you know what? You're going to know Jack after this video. The Riyadh Jack. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Got the Riot Jack. This is the bronze with the marbled carbon fiber. And if you don't believe it's the bronze with the marble carbon fly fiber, then yeah, you're, you're, you're not hallucinating. You can see that bronze on the pocket clip better than you can on that. This got a quick dip somewhere in this frame because that just, I mean, under the right, like that, you can see a little bronze hue coming off of there. Discuss this with a guy on Instagram who says, that's not bronze. And then he goes, ooh, I guess it is. There's almost no difference between the regular and the bronze. If you look at both pictures online, yeah, they're almost indistinguishable. I talked to Justin about it because I got this from White Mountain Knives where you can get it for 10% off, 45 bucks off the 450 price, which is a lot of money, I know, but... Um, and he goes, no, that's the box. You know, he says, I, uh, I did pull it out to look at it, double check to put it back in the correct box that it came in. So if it, if that's not as bronze, it should have got, then it just didn't get as bronze as maybe some of the others. So if you have a bronze one and yours is more bronze than this, let me know. <laughs> I, you know. It's a great knife though. Cool knife. Love it. It's big. Just another combat folder. I thought at first when I read about the Jack, I thought it was just another compact folder. So when I got the knife, it was nine and a quarter inches overall length. I'm going, compact what? I looked again. It was like combat. Oh, okay. Solo Jack Chan is the designer. And what a design, huh? Got a real buoy looking blade here. I, I'm a sucker for buoys. See, it says Riot there. Jack, M390, uh, Damascus type of uh, Mokutai, whatever, pivot ring. And then you've got this uh, anode, blue anode. Titanium hardware, titanium milled pocket clip, integral, all one piece frame with, of course, the marbled carbon fiber slabs on both sides. So is it a liner lock? And every time I call this uh, a frame lock, somebody says, no, that's a liner lock, dude. And then every time I call the liner lock, somebody says, no. I mean, just the fact that it's got a little piece of carbon fiber over here. That doesn't mean it's not a frame lock. So let's argue. Oh my God. So whatever it is, it's a lock. I'm going to call it, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm going to call it. If, if, if the carbon fiber only came down to here, then it'd be a bolster lock. But now nah, I guess it's a liner lock of sorts. In any case, you know, I, and then I, when I was looking at this, I'm going, that's not that bronze Maybe I could anno it and make it a little bit more bronze. I mean, not me personally. I'd send it to Steve at Blades We Love. But can I get that carbon fiber off there? And I took this screw and this screw off. And, you know, I kind of pulled at it a little bit and it didn't move. And I go, I'm not going to jack with it. You get that? I'm not going to jack with it. Um, but obviously this pulls away here. So, I mean, this carbon fiber acts as an over-travel stop. And so, yes, and obviously it's not attached into where the, the cutaway happens back here in the lock bar. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, if you guys know for sure if this comes off that there's no adhesive under there, let me know. Because until then, I'm not going to I'm not gonna jack with it. No, I'm not. Uh, the action on this knife is great. A little guillotine-ish maybe, uh, but I mean, no lock rock, no blade play, please, for those people who just, all they can ask about on a knife is, 
Lock Rock, Blade Play, is it centered? Uh, yes, all three centered. No Lock Rock, no Blade Play. Really nice knife. I mean, it better be damn near perfect for 450 smackaroolies, right? That's a lot of jack, isn't it? I can't stop myself now. Um, really good action. Multi-row ceramic bearings. Uh, but the detent's not that strong. Hold on, let me... Come on, baby. Really? Now, of course, I had to say that first, and now I can't. Okay, here it comes. Uh, yeah, and it's really hard to do under this camera. It's it's crazy difficult to try and get your and not hurt some away from the camera. Yeah, okay. <sighs> a five at best. A five at best. But you know what? Man, that is some smooth action. That is some smooth action. It's a beast. Let me repeat that. It's a beast. I mean, what, what were they saying? Hold on. Um, well suited for your gentleman carry needs. Gentleman carry needs? I'll tell you what, gentleman knife is like a William Henry, you know, little abalone inlay or something about that big and about two ounces max this thing's a monster this is not gentleman carry this is not going to slide into your designer suit pocket anytime soon this is yeah combat quicker than it is gentleman that's for sure and here's rex and rex yeah he's monster he's the monster all right rex kick over here so there's like a full inch difference Nine and a quarter overall as opposed to eight and a quarter overall, but check that out. And the Para 2, that's a full-size EDC. This thing's a monster EDC. Oh, where's my monster measuring stuff? Here we go. This is insane. Six tenths of an inch. I, I, I knew it was a handful. 15.3 millimeters. This is four millimeters. I know that. But it says 4.1. Wow. 0.16. It is monster. It's monster blade stock. It's got jumping up here. Uh, nice for style points, I guess. Not really appreciable as far as that goes. Um, if you're going to go ahead and take this out and, and work, you know, out in the trades with this thing, this will be your, your beater knife, then God bless y'all. I got to see you got more money than I got. I'm taking my Ganzo. <laughs> but this one is proud carry. You can go in the front door of your your local sports pub, and if you got this in your pocket, you don't have to be embarrassed. Big front choil, really high satin grind on here, and you got this directional grind here, this directional grain going across here. Just oh man. Come here, M390, like, did I say that before, or did I not? M390, and yes, it's sharp. I don't know if it's crazy, crazy, the sharpest I've ever felt on a knife, but it's, it's pretty daggone sharp. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. And it's sharp looking too, isn't it? You like that pivot? I'm all up with that. I dig that. And, of course, it's weight relieved because they milled out all this section to put those carbon fiber inlays in. So, that's all they needed to do. Although, is that going to get it done for us? Mm, I don't know, brother man. This is a pretty... Man, this feels like a big old chunk of you-know-what. Hello. Hello. Warning. Will Smith. I mean, it's like... It's like two times. This is 3.8, I think. So, mm, okay, not quite twice of this, but that's a bunch. Um, definitely more than twice of this. So, and probably about, where is this? About twice of this. This is three, this is three uh, ounces. This is a small cut jack. So this is three ounces here. This is over twice of this so carrying two of these um 
So it's not a lightweight little darling, is it? 188 grams. It's not 200. Where did I, I thought I saw somewhere that said 200. Hold on. This is White Mountain Knives, so you get this. <sighs> I think, I mean, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. But I think I bought the last bronze. Although that looks more, mm, yeah, I can't tell. I looked on Blade HQ pictures and they look, the, the silver, the regular gray and the bronze are indistinguishable from their pictures. Um, in any case, uh, but yeah, don't hurt me. But I think Justin said I got the last bronze. Well, I think he might be able to grab some more. I think he was going to get some more knives, but they are going quick. So uh, probably especially the marble carbon fiber and probably especially the, the flamed anno, which to tell you the truth, and I got crap flying around here, but you can get them in different things. Like this is with the, the brass inlay. Uh, this is the, uh, well, flame with brass uh there's i think this is my bronze isn't it i didn't say squat um there's blue that might be bronze god only knows because it it kicks to the next page where the description is actually under here okay so in any case and then uh here's the flamed which they ran out of like i guess instantly or one guy was saying everybody sold out of the flamed really quick Blue with the brass, which wouldn't be bad, actually. Uh, in any case, just <sighs> beautiful knives. But I was just so surprised that they that they were selling so profusely. That's a lot of money. And especially, I mean, there's some people that are just still living in the past century that still can't accept that China makes a world-class knife. And, you know, if you're an enthusiast, you bend past that road sign like miles ago. But there's still people that'll make comments on my site, like everything China puts out is junk, trash, blah, 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 whatever. It's like everything in my house is from China. Jeez, I'm, I'm not feeling good, dude. You're, make, not, you're hurting my feelings. Um, and it's like, dude... Wake up, get your head out of the sand, look around. Um, this is a world-class knife. This is a beautiful knife. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these high-end production knives like this, I mean, they're about mid-tech price, 450. The what the area starts at five, five and a half. So, I mean, you know, you're you're starting to get into an area where you might have to make some tough decisions because wow. Um, there's some options out there, but wow, I'll tell you what, I had the Arius in my hand. I, I, and I, I, I put it on video and I'll tell you what, I don't want to compare it. They're two different knives, but this is, this is, a, this is a lot. This is a really, really, really good knife. Um, you know, I don't want to go down that road. Uh, Arius continues that that Koenig it continues to evolve now they're weight relieving the insides of the titanium scales and doing some stuff so I'd say they might be on pretty much a par with each other which is not trying to drag down the Koenig but this is really really good stuff guys this is really nice it feels good the uh, the ergos are good right here this is really easy to disengage. See how they do this little chamfering on the inside of these liners to kind of widen that gap, and make it easier for you to put your thumb in there and separate that. But yet they didn't do a huge cutaway and kind of sacrifice some of the styling on the knife. They didn't do that. So they left it like that. And that's nice. This integral frame is really nice. I love this. This cross hatching here, the little stylistic points here, and then a nice solid lanyard hole, but it doesn't take away from the overall flow of the design of the knife. And then this little traction thing here, which really is nothing, uh, 
but it's it's interesting it's nice stylistically i think just everything flows really well all these lines are broken here you know they're nice and rounded all this is as well just the incredible really nice buoy style blade on this knife is just so nice and you kick it over there and baby that thing drops maybe a little hard for you maybe you want it a little bit more hydraulic but it's close yeah like i said multi-row ceramic bearings heavy duty big dog oh if you want me to put the tape on it i never did do that i just told you how long it was but it's four inch blade okay that's over a hundred uh millimeters maybe 101 102 somewhere in there and they say nine and a quarter they're just right pretty close to dead on and over 23 oh, headed towards 23 and a half centimeters which is a bunch i mean when you get to 23 and a half centimeters you got yourself monster status it's it's just really close to monster status i i think for most guys it is monster status it's it's it yeah it's heavy um it's smooth the ergos are good it feels good in the hand reverse grip it feels good as well it's just a pretty knife so i don't know i'm oogling and on all over it but uh wish the bronze would have been i mean this almost looks a different hue and i think maybe the pocket clips were run separately so it got more of the bronze than the frame looks to have I even windexed the frame down thinking maybe it would bring out the bronze a little bit more but that's really weak i mean you can see a little bit of the bronze issue but that's really really subtle in any case either way it's fine i mean pfft, I, I didn't want the flamed and i really didn't want the blue i just thought that was too much especially with the blue hardware on here so the bronze and the blue but if these scales can come off uh, then I can do whatever I want with it. So I'll have to check into that. If you guys have one and you know for sure the scales can come off, there's no adhesive there. I mean, even if there's adhesive, it can come off, but it's it becomes a really much more difficult proposition and you got to be very careful. But yeah, see that, that, look at that pin. Look at that stop there. See where that is? That's all the way through on both sides, isn't it? What's interesting is that's a heavy duty piece of hardware, isn't it? That's a that's a monster old piece of hardware. In case you're just interested, hold on, where where did I just throw my caliper? Now if I can see through the camera with a crap. Okay, 0.15 is the diameter on that. 3.8 millimeters. That's a monster, isn't it? That's heavy duty, all right. And it's inset in the titanium. Wow, that slaps hard, but that's a five at best. Somewhere between a four and a half and a five. But you know, all it takes is a lazy flip. Now, it's not snappy. It's more like a swinging gate you know but it's a big old heavy blade it's going to come out there eventually can i fail this let me see if i can fail it before i go before i flash out of here well damn you i kind of hate it when it defeats me like that i'm trying to fail it okay so the detent's not that strong but it's just so smooth and i didn't i didn't throw anything in here no lube, didn't do, you know, anything. This is factory. Wow, cool. I hate the MyPillow.com. Forget this. Look at, I mean, I just faced it down this table, running around a little bit. It, it's just a lint magnet. This thing is a absolute lint magnet. Why Riot came off of that nice woven zip stop type nylon look and went to this fuzzy, thing i don't know it's just ridiculous i don't like it at all i don't like their new pouches 
they just they suck actually they really suck uh, well, you, at least you get a pouch. And let's not talk about the manufacturers that charge you pretty good money and don't give you one. And you get a microfiber cloth. You get the little bag it goes in. And you get, uh, oh, by the way, you get some hardware, some screws and washers. And no bearing so. And then the, uh, the patch. So you get all those little goodies in the, in the whatever this fluffy teddy bear thing is that the knife comes in it's just man i i have no use i mean I, I will use it i'll keep the knife in there and everything but i just it's just ridiculous because it picks up everything it's a mess <sighs> but this this knife is not a mess is not a mess it's a really good knife okay i'm done chatting at you but no it's big therefore it's kind of heavy very smooth Great action, good ergos, nice choil, integral, proud carry, good looking, beautiful design. I mean, and, and you know, it boils down to that, doesn't it? Is the design something you love? Okay. Do you have, do you mind just not paying rent this month so you can buy this knife? There you go. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to let you go, Flanagan. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, you guys, take care. Hey, thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. Um, we're just having fun with knives, but this one's, it's a really good knife. I can hardly wait for the Kirby Lambert stuff and then the, the T4000 to come out. I can't believe the devastation it's going to do to my bank account at that point. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know what we do around here. We do too much of it, maybe, but we love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.